Christian Academy. It's Dr. Shell here. And this week for chapel, I thought we would do a little cooking. Do you like to cook? I love to cook. Um, ever since I was a kid, I've just loved to cook, and I especially like to bake. I like to make cookie, cookies, pies, and cakes. And as you can see, my kids got me this uh, awesome chef hat uh, one year for Father's Day. Because uh, again, I just I just really like to cook. So today for chapel, we're going to be doing a little uh, cooking. So stay tuned, and I'm going to walk you through a little activity that I'm going to be doing in the kitchen. All right, Christian Academy. So here we are in my kitchen, and today we're going to be making some really yummy um, chocolate fish um, that you make with uh, this little thing here, which is a mold. So you take the mold and you fill it with chocolate and after that chocolate cools then you pop them out and you shave them off a little bit and you get these awesome little chocolates. So let's see what we need to do to make this work. So it's really not uh, terribly complicated. You take some chocolates like this, say like chocolate chips or either are Hershey Kisses and then you put them in the microwave and you melt them down so that it's nice and uh, soft and runny like this. And then you just take your mold here and you get a spoon. And you just spoon a little bit of that chocolate into the mold. Just like that. And um, once that chocolate cools down, it will be in the shape of the, they kind of didn't get filled up there. You could tap it down a little bit. And so once that cools down, it will be in the shape of the fish. Now, you might be saying, you know, Dr. Shell, that's really cool, but can we add some flavors to it? Does it have to all just be plain old chocolate? Of course not. So we could take some of that chocolate and we'll just spoon some in here. And we decide, well, let's add a little peppermint. Sure, why not? So I have some uh, peppermint extract, and we're just going to pour a tiny bit into the spoon. And you pour a tiny bit into the chocolate. And we will just mix that all up. And of course you can't smell it because uh, this is a video, but it starts to smell fantastic. And, and then you know what else you could do? I have some of these, it's hard to believe, these are leftover Girl Scout cookies. Uh, you know, Thin Mints? I love Thin Mints. All you Girl Scouts, remember to find me next year. So I'm going to crush some of those up, and I'm going to put mix that up in this. So now we have extra mint and uh, uh, cookie mixed up in here. We can put that right in there. So now that one right there. Yeah, so these are just going to be fantastic. They'll be uh, mint chocolate with um, Girl Scout cookie, thin mint in there. It's just going to be fantastic. There we go. We'll just let that now again. We'll, when those pop out, we'll trim them down so they'll just look fantastic. But you know, we got lots of mold left here. We could do something else. So I was thinking, you know, you don't have to just use uh, those things we already mentioned. You know, I was thinking we could take um, maybe some pickle juice. Yeah, some pickle juice. So I, I got a little syringe here and I, I pulled out. Uh, some pickle juice, and I'm just going to squirt that pickle juice in there. Oh, that's just going to be amazing. So we'll just mix up that pickle juice uh, inside there. And uh, I don't know, you know what? This plant right here, there's some dirt. Let me just get some dirt out of this plant, and uh, we'll just we'll just toss that in there too. Why not? A little some pickles and dirt, and we'll just mix that up. And look at that pickle and dirt. And we'll just plop that right in here too. And the next thing you know, you'll have an awesome uh, candy, pickle and dirt uh, candy, just like the other ones. That'll be just fantastic. So, all right, well, that's uh, uh, making candy with Dr. Shell. And then, of course, uh, they look fantastic. They look just like this. So, maybe you can try this at home if you have a candy mold and get yourself some candy and go at it. All right, well, uh, that didn't look very tasty, did it? And uh, I can assure you that I would not eat one of those made out of uh, dirt and, uh, and pickle juice. No, these right here, 
are made from just good old chocolate, mint, uh, cookie, cookie crumbs. Uh, we're not eating that nasty dirt and pickles. But that does make me think, boys and girls, about uh, today's lesson. And I want to point out a couple things to you. One of them is today we used this uh, mold to make all of those fish. You know, the Bible tells us in the book of Genesis that God made men and women in his image. And the word image means in a mold. We are made in the mold to be like God. Every single person on the planet, every boy and girl, man and woman, every person on the planet is made in the image of God. So every single person is special. And every one of those fish, when you pop it out, it looks like a fish. It has the print of a fish. But you know what, boys and girls? What you put in the mold makes a lot of difference, doesn't it? If you put good stuff in the mold, then the fish that comes out of it is good, tasty, sweet. And if you put nasty stuff in the mold, then what comes out is going to be kind of nasty. And boys and girls, that reminds me of a verse in Philippians 4, 8. I love the book of Philippians. Paul wrote to this church. He loved this church. He was so proud of them. And in Philippians 4, 8, Paul says this, From now on, brothers and sisters, if anything is excellent, if anything is an admirable, focus your thoughts on these things. All that is true, all that is holy, all that is just, all that is pure, all that is lovely, all that is worthy of praise, practice these things. So Paul was telling us that, you know, we need to be very careful what we put in our molds because that's going to determine the kind of person we are. What we put in our minds and what we put in our hearts is going to affect the kind of person that we are. You know, boys and girls, in just a week or so, we're not going to have chapel anymore until next year. And their teachers aren't going to turn on the video or march you down the hall and say, okay, it's time for chapel. And they're not going to make you come in the classroom and say, okay, everybody, get out your Bibles. It's time for a Bible lesson. And it's going to be up to you to make sure that this summer, what you put in your mold, what you put in your mind and what you put in your heart is going to help make something that's really good, that's really awesome, that's really tasty. And so, brother, boys and girls, I want to challenge you this summer to make a really good effort to make sure you're putting good stuff into your heart and into your minds. I'm going to create a Bible study a guide, uh, scripture readings, just like we do at uh, Cal. Every morning, somebody gets on the intercom and they say the Pledge of Allegiance and then they read a scripture verse. So I'm going to give you a list of scriptures that you can read each day if you want and think about it. So you're putting good stuff into your molds over the summer. And there'll be a, a summer reading activity to help you continue to put smart, good stuff into your heart and your mind over this whole summer. So I want to encourage you to be very careful about what you put in your heart and in your mind, what you listen to, what you see, because that's going to really affect the kind of person that you develop into and the kind of person that you will be. So I'm going to go do a little more baking and cooking, and I'm going to throw away that nasty uh, pickle and dirt uh, candy, because I don't think that's going to be very good. So whatever's true, boys and girls, whatever's wonderful, whatever's good, I want you to put those things in your mind, and I want you to practice those things. So, all right, you watch for that devotion that will be coming out for you to follow uh, this summer as you build good character, good things into your heart and mind. Talk to you later.